Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here, and you know me, I like to use the off-meta builds. The stuff that's more interesting, more unique, doesn't feel too overpowered. And I stay away from those big heavy-hitting weapons until they get nerfed and no one likes to use them anymore. And that is why today we're using Cyclone Enforcer. He's got three weapons that got nerfed, two Viento and a Javelin Beta. The Viento is still pretty decent if you ask me, it's in a good spot. Doesn't feel overpowered, and that's why you don't see it much anymore. <laughs> the uh, attack is lower than a lot of the handguns. The impact is lower, but where it does shine is the range at 105 and all the way up to 192. It is effective. Um, the cumulative impact is 117. Again, it's slower than the rest of these things, but it shoots quick and it's got the range. They did nerf the rapid fire and they nerfed the reload I believe so you can't dish out as much damage as you could before but it seems like it's in a good spot however you'll never see it because of the estrogen buff I mean it's more than twice the weight the energy drain is only 98 I think they should really increase the energy drain on this thing but there's only one red stat there besides the weight and that's the accumulative impact it's better in every way other than that. So I think they buffed Estrogen too much, and I'm tired of seeing it. The Javelin Beta, I don't know exactly what they did. They said they changed the trajectory to be standard or something like that. So I don't know if it was maybe more erratic and harder to dodge before, but that's my guess. We're pairing it with the Laser Slicer. This is Rusty's go-to blade. Uh, you've probably seen it before. It spins around, does a lot of damage. You can do that attack twice, or you can charge it up. And why did it show the first attack and then two normal attacks instead of a charge? Okay, yeah, there is a charge. I don't know why it showed it like that, but that's a really cool weapon. It's like a twin blade that's on a buzzsaw or something. Don't look at it too closely because you'll be able to see that it's slicing through your own arm and your weapons and stuff. But it does a ton of damage. And our head is the Alba, which Rusty used. I, I just like to throw back to Rusty out here. It's not necessarily a Rusty build, but it kind of is. Core's Mind Alpha. The arms were using the 46S. We would definitely get a lot more melee damage on the Basho. The melee here is 116. Um, Basho's 158, so a lot more melee damage, but you'll see I'm getting decent damage still. And these have way better <laughs> recoil control and firearm specialization than the Basho. Um, our arms have 116 recoil control, Basho's only has 66, and the firearm specialization is 102 versus only 53. So we're going to be better with the Viento, a little bit less damage on the Laser Slicer, but... It does a lot of damage, so not that big a deal. Legs are the HAL 826. This is really just for the stability. 906. We can get something as light as, oh, we can even have the C3. Okay, it looks like C3. We can go this light if we wanted to and go 347. But I want that stability. Our booster is the Alula for speed, for quick boost, for assault boost. It does weigh a bit and have a lot of energy load, but all the other stuff is great. Our FCS is the Talbot. We could go in for the Abbott. The thing with that, though, is the Missile Lock is less. And since the Viento does have a little more reach on it, sometimes we can hit people at 195 or 92, whatever it was. Yeah, it's up to you. But I went with Talbot. I might change it even. Who knows? Our generator is the Sand Tide, just for beefiness and the ability to boost around a lot. And we got the Pulse Armor. Overall, not the best build. I don't think you're going to get into S rank with it anymore. But it is just a nice blade build, a nice handgun build. Pretty fun to use. Let's get started. Zimmerman, Coquillette. Shoulder Gat, probably a blade too. Yeah. 
It's like whoever gets their combo wins, basically. <laughs> Not my favorite type of combat, but it is Armored Core 6. What can we do? I hope that didn't hit the pillar. I think it did, though. out for that assault armor. Thank god that pillar saved my life. I think we can get him here. We got a huge advantage. We have our pulse armor. Oh god, he can still stagger me though. Jeez. No! Oh my god, no! <laughs> Wow. Was that close? One little Viento to the kneecap for the win. Jeez. Double shampoo spread missile. Couldn't tell what the last thing was. Well, they did buff shampoo. I I think even the nerfed shampoo is still better than the buffed the nerfed Viento is better than the buffed Sampu, it seems. Maybe just because of the range? Come on. This is going to be close. If he gets a stagger, I might be dead. Ah. Oh, I got out of it. He was just a little too far away. Dude, that charge attack is nasty. It's like a dancer's blade with the weird timing. Kind of hard to avoid. Double laser handgun, double laser turret. Could be effective. We took round one. Let's see if we can end the set 2-0. I was going into the air this time. You didn't really do that so much round one. Ooh, a little bit towards the end of our booster's reach, but we still got him. Nothing on the charge attack. We'll just go for the VN2. Uh, shooting it before it was locked on. Alright. Turrets really aren't that good in PvP, unfortunately. Double Bazooka, double Titan. That's a scary one. Not too disparate in terms of firepower here. Oh, he didn't see me. Oh man, this is not good. <sighs> I 
Rensetsu, Harris, Coral Titan. He hasn't hit me with a Coral Titan yet. I hope to keep it that way. I hear it chasing me. Oh, uh, he must have been too far to hit with the Vientos. I thought I had a good little rush on him. Oh, he's peppering me with all these missiles. I have a slight advantage with the timing on the Pulse armor. Oh, we got him. Good. Big blade. Youch. Okay, it seems like his core is so light. Even though he's got the big, heavy-looking setup, he doesn't have as much stability as I was expecting. Which means I do have a chance. We actually took game one here. Staying in the air a lot. Which obviously makes it harder for me to hit him with the blade. Oh, we got it. Alright, I was not expecting that to go so well. Double Harris, trail missile, and the plasma whip. Alright, this guy's one of those kiters that likes to run out the clock on you. I got a huge sneak attack on him round two, though. And just destroyed him, so... Let's see if we can get him close enough so we can charge him down. We're not going to sneak and attack him again. Ah, dang it. Oh wow, and the bad launch. <laughs> this one is not going too well. I spoke too soon. Oh, we entered him out of the sky. I think if he relied a little bit more on that plasma flail, he would have killed me. Oh boy, heavy tank, Aurora, flame, trail missile, and laser rifle. Our opponent just tanked the crap out of us round one. No chance, as to be expected. Round two, he actually dropped his arm weapons. And we got him, well, we won the match. And we were still at like half health. I can't really do anything against the uh, flamer. Not being able to see so I can't kick is just so bad. I lost him. It's really not even close. I don't know how he's moving so fast. What? He just kicked me and then dove behind a building?
Well, we got a blade on him. Okay with that. Got me down to 959 or 595. Oh boy. <laughs> Zimmerman, Pile Bunker, and Shields. So if I play my normal strategy, this guy will destroy me with those... I can't remember what they're called, but they shoot shields out. He has two of them, one on each shoulder. So if I follow him, he's just going to launch the shields, I'm going to walk through it, and it's going to stagger me. And then he just pile bunks me. If I get him really close to being staggered, I can rush in like that. But if I make him play aggressive, there's really nothing he can do. So it's just like the build's done. Alright, he's got his uh, terminal armor. I really want to blade him, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Maybe it will. Oh, we bladed him! <laughs> yeah, it's one of those strategies that's like really good, but once you know how it works, it's really hard to get it to work. Attaché flamethrower double 10 launch missile. That's very close to Hot Dog Sunday. Round 2, I had literally 13 HP left. Oh man, this is not good. Reloaded my handguns. Hopefully I can get a nice big clip released out on them. I'm missing these kicks. Alright, that was not good. Also, that was not good. Yeah, he's got me this one. Uh, there's nothing I can do now. Maybe not. Wow. From defeat to victory and... <laughs> what did I say? I'm going to lose. And then how long was it? Two seconds? And I was like, maybe not. Double linear rifle... Laser Lance, and something else. He's got terminal armor. Gotta watch out for that. If I can avoid the kicks, I think I'm good. Oh, geez, the missiles. That really wasn't that big. Ah, oh, the kick. Yeah, I hit the... Shield button ten times, nothing happened. Classic from software. Oh, that was a really crazy looking blade. I was like right underneath him. It was like uppercut slashes. I'm trying to save my shield for when he goes terminal, but I don't know if I can. Okay, I can, cool. There we go. I love hitting people with that charge attack. So satisfying. Wow, double Viento, laser cannon though, and a blade. I swear I fought someone using pretty much this exact same setup before. It was a different person, but then like, he just destroyed me. I couldn't touch him. He hit me with everything. The net code is just insane in this game, dude. The intel, we got a sneak attack on him. He just barely didn't see me. <laughs> the 
laser cannon. That's like not good against my build necessarily, but if he fights a heavier guy, that could come in handy. Oh wow. Oh wow, dude! Dueling blades! He was slicing me and then I pulled out the spiral cyclone slicer. Crazy.